Welcome to week seven of the Webster Arts Summer Art Camp. This week we're going to be talking about fabric collages and you are going to be making a fabric collage of a house. So we're going to be talking about how to get started on that and also some art terms that you'll want to know. So one of the first art terms that we're going to be talking about is the term collage. So what is a collage? A collage is a piece of art that is made by sticking various materials such as photographs or pieces of paper or fabric onto a backing. Here are some examples of some uh, fabric collages, most notably pieces made by Bisa Butler. She's made some really great portraits. The next term that we're going to be talking about is right side of a fabric. So the right side is the printed or pretty surface of the fabric and the faded surface is the back side or the wrong side. So we're going to gather our materials together. The first material that we need is going to be Mod Podge or Elmer's glue that can be watered down. Next material will be some foam paint brushes. You're going to need scissors and a pencil or pen to draw out your house. You're going to need fabric scraps which are provided in your kit. You're going to have a bunch of different colors and patterns to work with. And then you're going to need a piece of cardboard where you're going to be drawing your house shape. So there are some different designs that you can do with making collages. One is an abstract design where you just have various shapes and patterns all put together, not representing anything in particular, but very appealing to look at. Then you can also make a color wheel where you organize all the colors that are similar together on a wheel. We're going to be making a collage house and you can also do a still life. This is of a green mug or portraits, portraits of people or animals. So let's prepare the materials and get started. So you're going to need to get started with your cardboard. You're going to be sketching an outline of your house. So to make a basic house silhouette, you're going to need to draw the shape of a triangle and then a rectangle as the main frame of the house, some squares and rectangle for the windows. Then you're going to need to assemble all your fabrics and then we're going to be cutting the fabrics into pieces and shapes that will fit within the house that you've made. So I recommend cutting into different uh, shapes, squares, circles, strips, longer strips, triangles, and then you have a lot of options to work with. And then you want to organize everything by shapes and by colors. So get those fabric scraps near the house that you have. Prepare everything, lay everything out so that they are at the ready when you need them. So to assemble, you're going to need to pour out that Mod Podge or Elmer's glue and you're going to water that down significantly so that you can paint that onto the surface. So you're going to add water to the glue and it doesn't have to be extremely precise. Then you're going to paint a small section. We recommend starting on the right side of the interior of the house. So use that foam paintbrush to make a little bit of a coating. And then you're going to assemble, you're going to lay some of the fabric on that section, whatever color you want your house to be. And you're going to keep going until you've constructed uh, the main part of the house and the roof. But also start to think about the exterior of your house. So what colors do you see in nature? What colors do you see in the sky or on the earth? And you want to keep uh, adding layers and strips of fabric and paint on glue so that you've covered all of the cardboard. And so at the whole surface is made up of fabric. So once your composition is complete, you're probably going to want to let it dry for about 24 hours. And there is another optional step when finishing this that you don't have to do if you don't have two days to work on it. But if you do, and if you can let this dry overnight and come back to it, 
One way to secure the fabric in place for your collage is to add some Mod Podge or Elmer's glue over the surface after it's been drying for 24 hours. This glue is going to dry clear and then everything is going to stay in place. So we would love to see the results and see your houses and perhaps put them all together and take a photo and send it to us at Webster Arts. We'd love to see the little neighborhood or street that you create.